getting it all decorated I tried to make it look as overgrown and you know non-used as possible so leading up to the tower over there and then I had an idea kind of a little quirky one there's a little path that leads over here and I haven't finished I need to flush this one out put some you know make it a little more overgrown than the other one not as rocky but I want it to go over here into this corner. So I'm going to have to clear out all these trees. Okay, now that I've got the trees cleared away. I was trying to make like a little grove here. There's a tale in, I believe it is The Hobbit. Where they come across the three trolls who have been turned to stone. Actually, they found the three trolls and then they got captured and ended up tricking them to turn them to stone. So I thought with all those woods around here it would be a good place to have the just kind of a, have the three trolls here. So we're going to try something a little different. Feel a little creative after the snowman. Decide to see what I can do. So I thought this would kind of be a nice little, like it's kind of a dead end gulch here. So they would go here and I believe, I think, I want to make a cave entrance 
So we'll have to, like put them in their fire here and put a cave entrance over here. Like there. Very shallow cave. So to get started, let's put let's maybe put um oh come on. So if I'm going to have one here, so I have, there are three of them. I have to look up their names. They're pretty common names. So to start with, let's start with this guy. He will be standing over here. So I figure there's his feet. They're a little mossy because uh, he's been standing here quite a while. Uh, let's, where's the uh, shovel? He's been standing there quite a while. Did I have a scaffolding? I'm going to need scaffolding. So we'll see how this works out. Sometimes it's hard to get a good, you know, good uh, butt there. You know, this uh, dealing in blocks is sometimes not the uh, easiest thing to do. Uh, that's pretty good, I think. We'll just kind of stick an arm out like that. Maybe... Pointing forward, and then this guy, he, maybe his arm is uh, like bent. I don't know why I'm going with mossy first hand. Yeah, maybe he's just got his fingers pointing down. Let's do. Oops. Kind of give him a bulky chest because I think trolls kind of have a bulky chest. Um, maybe some andesite. Like that. I think that's a good start. And then he needs to have a head. I guess we'll put a neck there. Oops. Let's see, maybe make it like three across. Well, I need to have a roof for eyes, so maybe like that. I don't really need this mossy there. Let's see if this will work. Um, no, I need one, two, need that one in the middle, right? Oh, I need one more on the other side. There we go. I'm trying to figure out my way around here. Quite sure how square a head they had. Maybe if I round it off a bit.
like that. Let's take a look. I guess that's not too bad since he's been frozen in time for so long. Let's do like, oops, that's not what I want. There we go. Now a little bit of lag there. Do that there and there. Got eyes. If uh, the head may be too big, actually. And then here, maybe that for a mouth. And then let's. Oops. It's not what I wanted to do. Just shrink them down a little bit. I think he's got too fat of a head. Take those off. Let's get rid of that and that. Okay, I think that's good a good start for the first one. I will do a little bit of uh, additional decoration on later on. I just want to get a get the initial statues put together. Where's my food? And I thought behind him could be maybe a uh, a large stump he's sit, gonna sit on like that. Okay, one down, two to go. Okay, next up, we have another guy that's going to be sitting over here. I'm just going to make a log for him to sit on. Like that. Maybe take... Uh, where is that at? There we go. Get rid of that corner. Just put that there. We just kind of got a log, it's laying down here. Then his uh, torso will be up against the wall there. Makes it easy, I don't have to do a back. Holy moly! What the f Ah, Ooh, okay. Do that dirt. Come here. Where the hell he come from? Ah. A lot of frustration on that one. I hate those creepers. I wonder if I just started carrying a cat around with me. Would that help? Okay, so where was I? Oh, I was trying to. So he's kind of like that would be his uh, torso. 
And then for his legs, if I do that. Actually, let's get rid of that. Yeah, I think that would work for legs. Kind of got his belly sticking here. Do that. We'll add some more of this mossy here. Um, just fill them out with more stone. Like that. Well, he's a little too close to this guy. Oh, I know why. God damn creeper screwed everything up because I was gonna have him his legs be here and the foot there we'll just have him sitting there he's a uh, He's man spreading, that's why he's so wide. Let's put that like that. Then I can get rid of this part over here. Have him just kind of. Well, I was going to put the cave entrance there. I can, oh, I can still put the cave entrance there. He can be sitting inside of the cave. Just have his hand like that. He's kind of like resting his arm there. And then this one. We'll have him with his hand like that. That arm's too long, isn't it? Let's shorten that arm up one. So if we make his hand like that, I was thinking I could have him holding something. Dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. Yeah, if I do like that there, do I have any slabs? I do have a slab. Put a slab there. Oops, and I need these things here. We're going to have him holding a club. Like that. Now for his head, if we do like that, luckily, these guys are somewhat 
not independent, but uh, distinct enough from each other that doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt to have them different. He is a little close to this cliff for me, but I think that'll be okay. Clubs in the way. We're going to move that club over. So, like, let's get rid of this. Uh, oh, I need those, don't I? Go up here and get rid of all this. So he's good to go just having his hand in front of his mouth. Maybe he was putting something in his mouth to eat. And speaking of mouths, there's his mouth. And for eyes, let's do... that trick I did before with dark okay yeah I guess I'd be okay he almost looks like he's smiling but maybe he's happy maybe he has something to eat and he's happy and we can uh, then do the same thing I was going to do here except singing I was thinking pick up that I think that'd be okay let's get rid of this and do some more oak the iron And the club there, and then kind of maybe make it wrap around like that. And it looks like he's holding on to it. Okay, that's two down. Okay, we are on to uh, troll number three. So he's going to be sitting over here. So the fire is going to be central here. So he will be here. Uh, I'm going to put another stump right there. So like this stump was here and it fell over. And went that way. Kind of like that. Maybe if I get rid of... Let's break that off though. So that goes there and then this one. These two are temporary so it kind of looks like it fits into here. And we can have it go. that I can leave that like a branch maybe there's a branch up there maybe another one came out there and this guy here is going to be sitting on the edge of this so we'll put like 
that. We'll go there. There, I can take that off there. Mm, actually, no. I'm trying to make it like he's got a bent knee here. So I think that needs to come out a little further. Maybe like that. No, so that, oh, that's the wrong foot. Now this, this is the one I wanted to come out to go like that. This one I was right the first time. Except I want it to go maybe like that or So his leg goes down, his knee goes out that way, which means I need to shrink this log down a little bit more. comes down like um, that. There we go. There. So he's on one knee there and then this foot comes out like that. There. And that is way too far out. Since it's going to be sitting in the fire. <laughs> Let's just go out one. Like that. And speaking of fire. If we do... Initial size of my fire was bigger, but I assumed I'd have more room. Oh, it's nighttime too. Okay. Let me uh, finish the sky up and get some daylight on the situation. Just putting the finishing touches on this last stone troll. He's got a trident. So all three guys are here gathered around the fireplace, which I shrunk a little bit, but I think it's still work. So that's uh, quite a sight. Yeah, so this guy has uh, got one bent knee, or actually two bent knees, kind of kind of sitting there half on that stump with his trident. That guy's just standing there enjoying the fire and this guy's got his club and he's eating you know a mutton or something. Not too bad. Oh I did get started on the cave. It's gonna be darker in here but 
I'll put in a couple beds and I kind of put some dirt dirty stuff on the floor tried to make it you know they can get in here and then stand up and I think I'll put three beds in here and that's about it and then I'll leave it dark I'll get rid of all those uh, torches I do need to do some landscaping around here. I think I've got some spruce. I did bring a lot of the vines, which I think will help. Maybe mushrooms. Got some bone meal. Actually, the mushrooms I think will work good on the inside of the uh, of the cave. Some of this, I just want to kind of make it look like it's overgrown. Because these guys have been sitting here for years and years. So that's really what most of the bone meal is for. I may even want to... Let's see if that'll grow. Will that grow? You know, sometimes they don't grow when you think they should. It could be because that arm is in the way there. Uh, let's see. We, I don't think they'll grow. Yeah, they won't grow with anything directly beside them. Spruce are kind of picky when they grow. Oh, I do have some ferns, so I can just stick ferns around here too which makes it look a bit more uh, natural and way overgrown. Where's my shovel? Yeah, and I'll have to fix the road out here. Because it's not quite... You know, the path is pretty good. I just need to put some more cobble and some coarse dirt let's get rid of that let's see come on there we go so uh, something like that would be that's what I was looking for and then even like they're here since it's been years since this road has been used all those spruce I got rid of will have uh, overgrown I made it like a dangerous path I would like to do some more on the hill here uh, let's get some light on a situation and see uh, see what I can do about landscaping this place okay well, it's been a few days since I was working over there on the, uh, the tree troll, three trolls. Um, I wasn't feeling very well, so I took a few days off. So I'm feeling much better today, but I had to show you this. So I was up here on the road and I heard lots of zombies, lots of zombies. So I dug my way through here and you are not going to believe what I found. An underground cave system. Very creeper. Hey, those creepers are blown up. And another spawner. That is just unbelievable. Not quite sure how to get over there right now. But it looks like, yeah, there's like an underground ravine here. With a lot of a lot of zombies. Let's go down here. I just want to take a look over here and see. There we go. Get those. Oh, 
light this up. This is, this is, like I said, there are a lot, a lot of spawns. We're going to have to go through and clear out all these mobs. Maybe that's why I was slowing things down. But. Lure three. Look at that gold and stuff. Oops, get out of here. That is, I, I am just overwhelmed with the you know, mob spawning capability around here. Because um, the one, remember we, a couple episodes ago, we found one, and I think there is, let's see, I think it is over here, yeah. I remember, right? Oh, the moly. Do I have any dirt? Yeah, good. Okay, I got dirt. Jeez Louise. I told you, the creepers. The creeper problem. There was a lot of creepers around here. Just a little while ago, I was being chased like four or five. Just come back from, because they dumped off some stuff over at spawn. And they were all over the place. Well, it gets rid of the dirt. I don't have any more. Hmm, don't have any more wood. I hate leaving. I hate leaving those like that. Maybe we'll cheat. That'll do for now. Yeah, the other spawner was around here someplace too. So we have all these spawners. In very close proximity. I wonder if there was a glitch or a bug at one point when I was uh, in the version I loaded up. So there's probably a lot of spawners around here. I do need to go down there and clean up all those mobs. Well, actually, I think most of them will be gone. There's a few that have stone and stuff in their hands. So I'll have to clean those up. But the rest of them should be okay once I get the heck out of here. So I kind of overgrown this path going through here and here we go I did put out the fire because if they're stone they're not going to have fire lit so we got the three trolls there oh I did find their names from the hobbit they are Tom Bert and William Bill Higgins or Huggins I think it is which is odd names for trolls you know, I would think there'd be more gradual names. And then I covered up this cave here. So I've got three beds for them. So I got each one has their own bed and then some chests and stuff. I can't make giant chests, so I just made normal chests. And I picked up a few miscellaneous things I thought they might have laying around. You know, they probably got some mutton, some flesh from the people they've killed, you know, the bones they've chewed on, maybe some fish. Just a few things like that. And then I had a little stream, a spring actually, in here into a pond. And this runs off uh, someplace I don't know where. I just didn't want to have to run a little lake or a little creek out there and make a lake. So we're just going to ignore the fact it just runs into nothing. And then I have these uh, stalag stalagmites? Stalactites, I think. I think they're stalactites. They drop from the ceiling. So I thought maybe they've been stoned for a long time. So thing, you know, this cave is getting really old. Got the vines in it and stuff. Uh, but I think that is it. This episode's probably gone on way longer than I thought it would. But for now, I'm going to say uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode and hope I catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.